When I was a student in New York, Om Kawara told me that uh, you should concentrate only on your solo exhibition, no group exhibition. <laughs> Don't waste your time with your group exhibition. Really focus on a solo exhibition and that's how you can show your world. And I think that's very true and I would like to pass on to the future generation too. From my experience is that um, really I believe the art is the only, uh, only um, media uh, which have total freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, any other profession doesn't offer that freedom. And I think that's really uh, relevant for me personally uh, because you can do whatever you want, however you want, and uh, you can also liberate yourself as well. That's how you liberate yourself. Creating things, it's really uh, a it, uh, true nature of human. It's creating things. And uh, uh, if you stop creating things, then you no longer, I mean, you're not really using the, the most uh, ability of your being. It's a fundamental act. We are creating our world by using our creativity. creativity. Even just the thought process of philosophy, I think that really uh, art support that. Our future, it's really dependent on our art. So, most important things. It's very much connected to the soul. It's nothing that's more connected than art. Since we have a language, like a, you know, the bub Tower Bubble, that we cannot really communicate sometimes because of the language barrier or culture barrier. But art transcends any of that because speak to your soul directly. That means we could communicate soul to soul through art. The key point is to really uh, uh, center into yourself and believe in it because the, that's really the like uh, the structure, mm -hmm. uh, that's the, really the key, just to believe in yourself. Because if you do believe in yourself, then it's some, you can see what the vision will come. And uh, that's really the key and the freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs>